Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace, family. Just jumping on really quick. I just want to reiterate truth according to this word. Just jumping on really quick, family. And I just want to reiterate truth uh, according to this word, of course, right? I just want to speak about uh, how we should not conform to this world, right? It's just a part two. I'm going to wrap it up today. But I, I decided to do a part two in regards of how we should not conform uh, to this world, right? And what I mean by not conforming to this world is you not conforming to the reality of this world, which is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, the, the, the works of the flesh, right? This is what the world promotes. This is, the, this is the agenda of the world, right? To be homosexual, to be feminists, to be cross-dressers, to be, to be liars, to be thieves, to be covenants, to be unbelieving, to be unfaithful, to be disloyal, to be dishonest, to be deceitful. We cannot conform to this world, family. We have to remain in the Spirit. We have to believe in the Christ. We have to receive the Spirit of Christ. We have to be baptized by the Holy Spirit of Christ. We have to repent. We have to return to the Master. We have to turn from, from the works of the flesh, from the members of the flesh. We have to be pure in heart. We have to be loving. We have to be kind. We have to be gentle. We have to be forgiving. The world teach otherwise. The world teach you that you have to be unforgiving. Uh, the world teaches you that you have to be deceitful. The world teaches you that you have to be liars, thieves, cross-dressers, effeminates, homosexual. We cannot conform to this world. We cannot. We have to turn from the members of that flesh. We have to repent. We have to believe it in Christ. We have to believe it in his death, in his burial, and in his resurrection. We cannot conform to this world. We have to stop that. We have to stop that, family. We was created in the image of the Father, which is love. For God is love. We was created in the image of the Father, which is forgiveness. For the Father is forgiven. We was created in the image of gentleness. Because the Father is gentle. We was created in the image of compassionate. Because the Father shows compassion. We have to return back to our original essence. And not be conformed to this world. But let us be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So I will be reading from the book of 1 John. The book of 1 John, family. 1 John chapter 2, verses 14 to 17. 1 John. 1 John chapter 2, verses 14 to 17. I'm sorry about that. I pray they get better um, as far as sounding, Miss Cynthia. Grace and peace, grace and peace, Daryl. How y'all doing? Hallelujah. We cannot be conformed to this world, family. We cannot be conformed to this world. We cannot be conformed to this world. We cannot be conformed to this world. Ain't nothing that the world have to offer you but the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Greed. Cross-dressing. Homosexual. Effeminate. Guys laying down with guys. Women laying down with women. Man's touching on little girls. Man molesting kids. We have to stop that, family. You was not taught that by the Holy Spirit. You was not taught that by the Holy Spirit. You was not. Turn to your original essence. Turn to your maker. Turn to your master. Return to the Father. For he loveth you. He loveth you. He loveth me. He loveth us. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. And whoever believeth in him will receive the gift of eternal life. Whoever believeth in him shall not perish. Whoever believeth in him will not perish. Whoever believeth in him will be saved. We cannot conform to this world. The world is promoting homosexuality. The world is promoting feminism. The world is promoting uh, bestiality. The world is promoting liars and thieves. That it's okay for you to get rich or die trying. It is not okay for you to get rich or die trying. What shall a profit a man if he gain the whole world but yet lose his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Absolutely nothing but death. We can't conform to this world, family. We have to be led by his spirit. We have to be guided by his spirit. We have to love it on one another. We have to forgive one another. We have to be kind. We have to be gentle. We have to show mercy. We have to be compassionate. We have to be peacemakers. We have to be pure in heart. Because only those who are pure in heart shall see the Father. 
We can't conform to this world. But we have to be transformed by the renewing of thy mind. <laughs> by the renewing of mind, family. Filled with greed. That ain't it. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. J Rock. What's going on? Brother Edwards, grace and peace. We can't be filled with greed. Those who are filled with greed would do anything to crush your brother, to kill your brother, to backstab your brother, all for a few dollars. We can't be filled with greed. We cannot be filled with lust. You cannot have a heart full of hatred, a heart full of grudges. You cannot walk around with an evil eye. Do not conform to this world, but let us be transformed by the renewing of thy mind. Period. So I will be reading from the from the book of 1 John. It's just a chapter, uh, a part two, family. I'm going to wrap it up after this message. I'm going to go on to something else. Uh, 1 John chapter 2, verses 14 and 17. 1 John chapter 2, verses 14 to 17. I don't know what a lot of these brothers be teaching, but it's all about Christ. I don't get caught up in all those different doctrines. You know, I may I may correct a few, you know, few doctrine as I go, but it's all about Christ. I don't get caught up in the dietary law. I don't get caught up in feast days. I don't get caught up in the law. I don't get caught up in the Mosaic covenant. I don't get caught up with none of that stuff. I'm not here to explain none of that stuff. I don't get caught up in tithing. I ain't trying to get caught up in prosperity gospel. None of that stuff. It's all about Christ. Because Christ, I came in the full volume of the book. It was written concerning me. So anything outside of Christ, I don't have nothing. Uh, I don't have no time nor energy to deal with. I don't get caught up in the letter J. I don't get caught up in nationality. I don't get caught up in Esau. None of that stuff. It's all about Christ and Christ only. The book of John chapter, uh, 1 John chapter 2 verses uh, uh, 2 to 17. 1 John chapter 2 verses 14 to 17. 1 John chapter 2 verses 14 to 17 and it reads. It says, I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. For I have written unto you, young man, because you are strong. And the word of God abideth in you. And you have overcome the wicked one. He said, I have written unto you, Father, because you have known the Father from the beginning. You know his attributes. You know his essence. You know what he required of you, which is for you to walk in love. Which is for you to believe. Which is for you to show mercy. Which is for you to be kind. Which is for you to be gentle. You have known the Father from the beginning. We cannot have a, have a, have a religious relationship with the Father. We can't. Going to church on Saturday or going to church on Sunday ain't good enough. It's not sufficient enough. If you're not willing to study the Word, if you're not willing to allow the Word to abide in you, you have to understand the attributes and the characteristics of the Father. Then reciprocate. You can go to church Sunday to Sunday. But if you're not willing to show love, it's for nothing. If you're not willing to give, it's for nothing. If you're not willing to be kind, it's for nothing. If you're not willing to be gentle, it's for nothing. If you're not willing to submit to the Holy Spirit, it's for nothing. We have to, we have to, we have to conform back into the image of the Father, which is love. Be not conformed to this world, neither the religious system. But let us be transformed by the renewing of thy mind. Some of my brothers and some of my sisters are too indoctrinated to understand the simplicity of the gospel. They're too religious. They just have a form of reverence while denying the power of the earth. They have a form of godliness while denying the power of the earth. They have a zeal with a not according to knowledge. You're too religious. You can't even understand the simplicity of the gospel, which is for you to believe it on Christ so for the forgiveness of sin. You don't understand that. For God so loved the world that he gave us. He gave you. He gave me, he gave us, he gave the world, he gave humanity, his only begotten son, and whoever believeth in him will receive the gift of eternal life. But you too indoctrinated to understand the simplicity of the gospel. Christ said, this is the worst that thou must do. You have to believe it on him who was not believing to me. He said, you go astray because you do not know the scriptures, neither the power of the Father. You too indoctrinated. That's why John said, I have write, written unto you, fathers, because you have known him from the beginning. He's love. He's kind. He's gentle. He's forgiving. He's merciful. He's compassionate. He's patient. He's long-suffering. You have known him from the beginning. Not his name. 
but his attributes. We have brothers, we have sisters who are caught up in the name. His name is Yahweh Shai. His name is Yeshua. His name is Yahuwah. His name is Yah. His name is Yahweh. No. You have to understand his attributes. You have to understand the characteristics. You have to know when he's speaking it to you. He's not speaking to you if he's telling you to walk in hatred. You have to understand his voice. No, the Father will not tell you to go astray. The Father will not lead you to go against his word. You have to understand his attribute. You should know him from the beginning. He's love. If you mad at your wife, the Father will tell you to walk in forgiveness. Forgive her. Your flesh will tell you to hold on to grudges. Your flesh will tell you not to forgive her. Your flesh will tell you to look at her with an evil eye, but that's your wife. The Father will tell you to forgive her. Humble yourself and go apologize to that beautiful young lady and reconcile your situation. That's why you have to understand the essence of it, of, of his characteristic family. Stop going back and forth about a name. Stop it. Stop it. Stop going back and forth about a name. Understand the characteristic of the father. You have known him from the beginning. And guess what? He's love. Grace and peace. Grace and peace, Adams. Brother Adams. Hallelujah. For I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. For I have written unto you, young man, because you are strong. And the word of God abided in you. And, 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 and you have overcome the wicked one. For, for let not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The love of the Father is not in him. The love of the Father is not in him if you love the world. What about the world? It's the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, which is what the world produces. Hatred, envy, gossip, wars, rumor of the wars, adultery, fornication. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We have to conform. We cannot be conformed to this wicked system and this wicked world. We can't. But we have to be transformed by the renewing of thy mind. If your wife is mad at you, apologize. Humble yourself. Ask for forgiveness. If she done you wrong, forgive her. Kids, honor your mother and your father. Let's be kind. Let's be gentle. Let's be forgiving. Let's be gentle. Let's be compassionate. Let's be pure in heart. Let's submit to the power of the Holy Spirit. Be not conformed to this world. You have overcome the wicked one. Through Christ and in Christ, if the word of God abideth in you. It's that love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. You feel with greed. That's why you're always at the casino. You feel with lust. I always watch your pornography. You feel fornication. Always laying down with another man's wife. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That is not the will of the Father. The will of the Father for you to believe on him who was son. Then you will receive the Spirit of Christ. And the Spirit of Christ will lead and guide you into all truth. And his word is truth. Right? For all that is in the world, which is the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, which is not of the Father, but is of the world. So when it says love not the world, it's, it's speaking about the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. This is what the world produces. This is what the world will introduce you unto. It will provoke your flesh. It will activate your flesh. It will ignite your flesh. <laughs> Don't love the world. The world will promote you pornography. The world will promote you killing. The world will promote you murders. The world will give you gangster rap. Do not love the world. The world will tell you it's okay for you to be high. It's okay for you to be drunk. Don't love the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Do not be conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of thy mind. We have to renew our mind by being baptized by the Holy Spirit, by receiving the Holy Spirit, by repenting and receiving Christ as Christ. By allowing him to lead and guide us into all truth. We have to become a new creature in him. 
If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, a new creation. Be not conformed to this world, because there is nothing in this world but the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, which is not of the Father, but is of the world. Repent and believe in Christ. <laughs> he's the master, and he's the author and the finisher of thy faith. Right? It said, for all that is in the world, which is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, which is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passed away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of the God, he that does the will of God, will abide it forever. If you want to do the, if you want to live forever, you got to do the will of God. What is the will of God for you to believe on Christ? Because in Christ is, is, is eternal life. It's the gift of eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whoever believeth in him will receive the gift of eternal life. You'll be saved. You will remain forever. You will live forever. You will stand forever. But if you conform to this world, you will die. You will perish. Because the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, you will be consumed through the blood of the Lamb. Um, that's about it, family. I just wanted to jump on really quick. I just want to reiterate that. It was just a simple part two. Nothing too dramatic. Nothing too complicated. Pretty much it's uh, direct and straightforward. Um, let us repent and receive Christ as Christ. Because he's the one that died for our sins. He's the one that resurrected for our justification. He said, this is the works that you must do. You have to believe upon him who was signed. Believe that I died for your sin. Believe that I resurrected for your justification. Believe. And that's what we see. Face to face. Shalom.